so uh, so far we were discussing the uh, ideal gas in the microorganic line sample next we have to uh, see the ideal gas in uh, canonical and uh, grand canonical ensemble the thermodynamics in the case of canonical ensemble is entirely dependent on the partition function the partition function is uh, q and vt equal to sigma r e to the power minus beta er so where er denotes the energy eigen values of the system okay so we are summing over the different energy eigen values of the system and you get the partition function now in terms of single particle energy levels the epsilon i can be written as uh, <coughs> actually uh, epsilon i is the average energy of ith cell okay the single particle energy levels were grouped into different cells the epsilon i is the average energy of the ith cell but henceforth we will be not considering cells only single particle levels okay so we will be considering only single particle energy levels the idea of cells that is discarded and uh, so this is basically epsilon single particle energy epsilon so er is equal to summation over the single particle energy levels n epsilon epsilon and n epsilon is the number of particles in each single particle level okay each single particle level of energy epsilon so here this is n epsilon not n i okay we will be considering uh, single particle levels so n epsilon is the number of particles in the single particle energy state epsilon so when you take this summation we will get the total energy eigen value and uh, uh, the, the condition the total number of particles are constant sigma epsilon n epsilon equal to n so once again i say we are not considering uh, cells as in the previous uh, section we are considering single particle levels individual single particles levels okay so uh, the partition function is sigma n epsilon so what is n epsilon n epsilon is the distribution set it is a distribution set okay so instead of n i we are now using n epsilon where n epsilon is a distribution set it tells you how many particles are there in each single particle state okay the first uh, single particle state how many particles are there in the second single particle state how many particles are there so this is actually a set of numbers this is a set of numbers so we are summing over the different uh, distribution set of the single, single particle states single particle numbers uh, and uh, this is the statistical weight factor how many uh, single particle states are there with the same energy okay how many single particle states are there with the same energy kind of degeneracy that is the statistical weight factor so how many uh, single particle states and how many uh, distribution sets are there sorry how many um, states uh, are there to the same distribution set okay so uh, that is the statistical <coughs> weight factor corresponding to the distribution sector and for energy as uh, we know energy can be written in this form sigma epsilon n epsilon epsilon okay that is written here and summation goes over all the distribution sets that conform to the restrictive condition this is actually restriction the total number of particles is a constant so uh, this is the uh, idea with which we um, evaluate things in the canonical ensemble so the statistical weight factor in different cases actually this statistical weight factor it is different in each case for uh, both Einstein case its value is 1 okay 
and uh, for uh, fermi dirac case it is one fold n epsilon r zero or one actually for fermi dirac we know n epsilon is either zero or one because it obeys the pauli exclusion principle so each state can uh, in each state there can be single particle state there can be only one particle so n epsilon zero or one so uh, for fermi dirac case uh, this is equal to one and for maxwell boltzmann case this statistical factor is pi epsilon one by n epsilon uh, factorial okay so how do we get this relation how do we get these values for the statistical factor we uh, take the earlier derived uh, equations for the uh, number of states for this distribution states distribution sets that is pi i n i g i minus 1 factorial over n i factorial g i minus 1 factorial okay here suppose that we put g i is equal to 1 this is actually an equation for a cell consisting of g i levels okay cell consisting of g i levels but here we saw we are uh, as i said we are considering only single particle states so uh, we in this case if you take g i equal to 1 okay that is if you assume each cell consists of only one level then we will get this this thing okay each cell consists of only one level then we will be getting this case so uh, we put gi equal to 1 here so when you put gi equal to 1 you will be getting this as equal to 1 so this is the number of distinct microstates associated with the, uh, this distribution set n epsilon in the case of uh, both sides it is equal to 1 for fermi direct case as well if you put gi equal to 1 you know uh, if gi uh, equal to 1 uh, for uh, fermi direct we know ni is either 0 or 1 if ni is 0 ni is 0 you will, you will have 0 factorial here zero factorial here and here it will be um, okay ni 0 means 1 factorial okay and g this is 1 factorial and you will get 1 and if ni is equal to 1 so you will have uh, 1 factorial here 1 minus 1 0 factorial here and you will be again getting 1 so the number of distinct uh, microstates associated with the distribution set n epsilon in this case n epsilon that is equal to 1 for the fermi dirac case and for the maxwell boltzmann case the uh, you know uh, the number of microstates for a particular distribution set that is pi i g i to the power n i by n i factorial and if i put g i equal to 1 i will get pi i n i factorial and here instead of y since we are using epsilon so we have this pi epsilon 1 by n epsilon factorial okay so i think uh, you have understood this idea uh, the main thing is the main idea is instead of uh, cells instead of cells uh, single particle states grouped into several cells we are in considering individual single particle states individual single particle states so uh, we know w of b and i w of b e and i is a number of distinct microstates associated with a distribution set okay so if you, we put gi equal to 1 here you will get the number of distinct micro states associated with the distribution set n epsilon okay so these two are actually same these two are actually same the only thing is we are considering n i equal to n epsilon so uh, so n i is n epsilon and uh, the gi is taken as 1 okay